Today on Animal Fact Files, we're discussing king penguins. King penguins are the second largest living penguins, falling behind their relatives, the emperor penguins. Originally, king penguins were named first and received their kingly name because they were believed to be the largest living penguin species at the time. It wasn't until later the larger emperor penguin was named. Oops. Though these species are similar in appearance, there are a few differences to tell them apart. First off, king penguins are smaller than emperor penguins. While emperors can reach 4 feet tall, king penguins top out at 3 feet in height. In weight, king penguins average 30 pounds, giving them a slimmer appearance compared to the emperor penguins' bulky 80 plus pounds. King penguins are also a bit more colorful. The orange on the sides of their head and along their throat stands out stronger than the emperor penguins' pale yellow head and throat spots. The king penguin has an orange teardrop shape on its bill, compared to the emperor penguin's yellow beak spot. King penguins also have longer bills than emperor penguins. In fact, they had the longest of all penguin beaks. Probably the most discernible difference, however, is in their offspring. Emperor penguins have gray and black babies, while king penguins have giant fuzzy brown chunks. In fact, king penguin chicks look so different from their parents, they were believed to be another penguin species altogether, known as the woolly penguin. Unlike emperor penguins, which breed seasonally, king penguins breed twice every three years. Some colonies breed every other year. A pair is monogamous through a breeding season, though usually not after. And also unlike emperor penguins, both king penguin parents take part in incubating the egg. It takes just under two months before the egg hatches. The parents swap every other week between holding the baby on their feet and foraging until the chick is large enough to be left alone. At this point, they may go months at a time before returning to feed their offspring. Some babies wait more than three months for their parents to return with food. It takes about a year from hatching until molting all their brown down before the babies are fully independent. They have the longest breeding cycle of all penguins, lasting 14 or more months. The young king penguins won't return to breed until they're approximately 3 to 5 years old. In the wild, king penguins can live to be 20 or older. While emperor penguins are a truly Antarctic species, King penguins are island-dwelling in slightly warmer areas. They form colonies on rocky, gently sloping Antarctic and sub-Antarctic island shores as far north as New Zealand and South America. They've been documented traveling over 300 miles from home to forage. They collect their meals from the ocean. Lanternfish make up the king penguin's main diet, but they also take other fish like mackerels as well as squids and crustaceans. They can dive up to a thousand feet in search of food and hold their breath for almost 10 minutes if needed. Predators to king penguins include leopard seals, fur seals, killer whales, skuas, and other birds. They were also hunted by humans until the practice was outlawed. Since then, their numbers have increased and continue to increase today. There are believed to be over 2 million breeding pairs of these birds alive as of this recording. Because so many birds congregate at a single breeding site, things can get pretty noisy. Here are some examples of the sounds heard at a king penguin colony. For more facts on king penguins, check out the links below. Give a thumbs up if you learned something new today. Thank you to our patrons, Spike Spiegel 93 Dad, and everyone else for their support of this channel. And thank you for watching Animal Fact Files.